Hello and welcome to Bikini Design Club. Today we will be showing you how to sew our swimsuit pattern for kids, Mini Tanya. It's called Mini Tanya because we also have the same pattern for adults, very similar pattern for adults. So if you want to do a matching mommy and daughter, here you have. We are going to start cutting our fabrics for our mini swimsuit pattern Tanya. As I told you, we have uh, the same pattern for adults. So if you want to do a matchy, you already know that we, you can also find this for adults and the name is the same. It's called Tanya. So today I'm going to do this for a five-year-olds. I'm going to use this dinosaur print that I think it's very, very beautiful. And I'm going to use white lining. So the first thing we need to do is just use the fold line, align the grain line front and back and cut both fabrics for uh, front and back, main fabric, lining. Let's cut. Just to let you know that uh, you use the fold line here, but this is a little bit shorter because we will place um, a channel here to tie a small string strap here to adjust on the uh, back neck. So what I've done is I, I just left two millimeters and I cut it straight because here we will uh, do a channel and I thought, okay, I'm, I can leave a little bit more fabric than I have on the pattern, but it's two millimeters, but just to let you know that I did this here. And here, instead of course, you do a very accentuated uh, angle. I cut it slightly curved, but it's okay. When we sew, we will make everything even. So now I'm ready to cut my front and my lining. We have now our front and our back piece. And I also went ahead and cut it my strap that we are going to use here for the channel. And I made it longer just because I wanted to have uh, more than <laughs> less fabric. If I then I decide and I cut, no problem. Uh, something happened with my lining. I don't. I didn't have enough lining to cut all this in one piece. But never mind. I hope this doesn't happen to you. So I have here my front, but for the back, I actually need to sew this to this the top to the to the bottom part of the back, because as you can see, uh, I wasn't able to cut this all at once as uh, we did for the main fabric, but no problem. I will sew this together and it will be just like you are doing at home. So ignore this small part here because I'm just going to sew them together and I will have an entire piece just like you. So I have placed right sides facing together for my front and my back. I've already attached what I've told you before that uh, I, I needed to do. And now I'm going to uh, place my um, lining piece with my seam uh, towards my uh, back piece on top of it, like so. And I'm going to place my front also on top. And uh, this is a different method than the one we have used to sew the kids uh, Mary swimsuit. So it's interesting if you want to see different ways of doing the swimsuits. This is different from Mary. And we are going to sew over the four layers of fabric uh, on all the areas where we not apply elastic. So we will sew on the side seams, on the crotch area and on the shoulders. All the rest we do not sew for now. So the first thing I'm going to do now is grab some pins pin the sides, pin the shoulders, pin this area and then we go to our overlock machine and we do the overlock over the four layers of fabric without elastic. Uh, now that everything is pinned, uh, just wanted to tell you that you don't need to do any basting stitch or anything because the fabric is very easy to align 
uh, and if you cut it properly you will not need to do any basting stitch so now now let's go to the overlock and sew the four areas that we have just pinned So the overlock is done, now we just need to, it's more or less intuit intuitive, but uh, reverse the swimsuit until you have your lining facing you. And now we are going to pin the leg holes, the arm holes and the neckline going to the back of course, because we are going to sew all over these areas applying elastic on the side of the lining so that then we will be able to fold and do the cover stitch. So let's go ahead and pin. So I didn't get on tape me uh, doing the pinning but that's quite simple uh, and uh, what I what I did already uh, on this video and I'm doing it here I'm sewing the elastic on top of my uh, lining and applying no tension and let's just apply the elastic on the neckline, under the arms, on the leg holes, so everywhere. Here we have our swimsuit already with the elastic. Uh, today I made something a little bit different because instead of my regular elastic that I usually uh, apply 0.8 centimeters I applied a 0.6 centimeters today and this is just a personal taste for this specific swimsuit because I wanted uh, my folds to be smaller than usual so that's why I applied the 0.6 it's not a huge difference the seam allowance is included I, I think uh, it will be fine now, uh, the only thing missing now is for us to go to our uh, cover stitch machine or zigzag stitch if you don't have a cover stitch. We just go to our cover stitch uh, and we fold the, the elastic inside like so and we sew the entire top stitch all around the swimsuit. We also are missing the channel here to apply our um, strap that I I'm going to do next but this is very simple you do the strap and then we will use it here in the end so once the the, um, the cover stitch is ready here on the back we will then fold over the fabric here and create a channel for our strap if you want this edge to be uh, overlocked you can do it now before we do the rest but usually I leave it like so. I prefer this than uh, the overlock finish when I fold inside. But that's your own preference. So let's go ahead and do the cover stitch all around. Let's do the strap and uh, let's share the results. I used my cover stitch to do this, but you can also do this with the regular machine using a zigzag stitch. And here you have the final result, I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to comment or uh, do any questions that you have on the comments below and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, bye!